today is actually filming outside. <laughs> I'm sorry if you can hear the cats behind me. They know I'm out here and they want to be out here too. So I have Kristen with me for this video because I'm going to be bidding her farewell on Saturday, which I believe is the 16th of April 2016 because I'm sending her to the doll hospital. It's been something that I've been thinking about for a long time now, but she has silver eye in this eye, which I'll try to show you. I'm going to be putting in a before picture and an after picture of her too, so if you couldn't see then, you'll see it in the picture. <clears throat> and I also will have pictures on my Flickr account too. But anyways, it's pretty bad. It's actually in her pupil. My sister's first Molly doll has silver eye, and the same eye actually, but it's only in the gray part, not in the pupil. But on Kirsten, it's in the pupil. I mean, I've seen worse cases of this, but... It's pretty bad, and it makes her look kind of like a cyborg. I was afraid to send her away for a long time because, you know, she's part of the family, and I always worry that something will happen and she'll get lost, or she'll get broken, or she'll get stolen, but it's really worth it to me, I think, now, because A, they replace it for free, it's considered a factory defect. So just to clear up some confusion about Silver Eye, while I am not the manufacturer, I can tell you now that silver eye isn't caused by something that you do. Mattel wouldn't replace the eyes for free if hair washing or moisture caused this problem. I've seen dolls brand new in their package that get silver eye. It's really only in Pleasant Company dolls or Pleasant Company stock dolls, meaning dolls that Mattel sold that still used Pleasant Company parts. And it's most common in blue and gray eyes, like Molly and Kirsten. But there are dolls with brown eyes, like Samantha and Addie, that can get this too. I don't know if Felicity can, but I do know that I've seen brown eyed dolls. It happens randomly. It usually happens within the first couple years that you have a doll. Um, my sister knows for a fact that it was within the first year she had her Molly that she noticed a silver eye, not even knowing what it was. And I'm pretty sure with Kirsten it happened in the first year. I'm not 100% sure I can't say this, like, definitively, but I don't think a doll will get silver eye really later on in their life. So by now, if a doll doesn't have silver eye, you're probably in the clear. I think it's something to do with the way, like, the decals attached inside the eye, and that it wasn't done right, or there's some kind of flaw with the type of decal. But neither Kirsten or Molly has ever washed or had even gotten wet when they got silver eye. And um, Kirsten's actually in really beautiful shape. I mean, like her wig and stuff. She was very gently played with. So, obviously it happens to nice looking dolls too, not, not just really beat up ones. But, I'm hoping that when she gets a new eye, or eyes, because they have to replace both of them, that, you know, I'll be able to, like, dress her and, and enjoy her more in her clothes, because that's the reason why I'm doing this, because it's gotten to the point where I feel kind of sad when I look at her. Um, Colleen's not going to get Molly's eye replaced, because she's fine with that. She has three other Molly dolls that, that look really good in clothes that, you know, don't have the silver eye. But this is my only Kirsten doll, and I probably won't be getting another one anytime soon, just because um, they didn't really make a lot of clothes for her, and they're really expensive on eBay a lot of the time, and especially, like, the later ones, like her baking outfit and her recess set, you can't touch those. So, um, it just makes more sense based on clothes to only have the one. But I'm, I'm confident that I'll like her eyes because um, both my Grace and Elizabeth dolls will have the same blue eyes that she'll have eventually. That's what they have. And it's really pretty. Um, the major difference is going to be the eyelashes. Mattel dolls use black eyelashes. Whereas um, Kirsten's eyelashes are, are you like a dark blonde? They're really pretty. don't like about the black eyelashes is that they are very like bold and they make the doll's eyes look really wide but I don't think they look wide on um, Elizabeth or Grace and 
they don't really bother me and I actually like black eyelashes kind of better than the more naturally colored ones because these, while they're like super soft to touch, they're also more prone to like get damaged and I've noticed like even a doll like Kirsten where I was really gentle with her as a kid, her eyelashes still kind of are splayed out and they tend to attract dust more and they're not as easy to take care of. So that will really be the biggest difference because the color themselves will only be slightly different. Ollie, you can't come out here. But anyways, so when you guys watch this video, I will have gotten her back from the hospital and I will be editing in her after shot. I don't know if I'll be filming it out here, but um, this is what she looks like before and I really, really miss her. I've only sent one doll to the doll hospital, Addie, and um, I might make an experience video on that. Um, I sent her back in 2003, but it was, it was a really good experience. Um, it's just hard to send something you love so much far away and, you know, worry that it's going to get lost or stolen or something. But, you guys will see her when she's all pretty and all fixed up. I hope you guys enjoy her, her new eyes as much as I do. And it's great that it's free. I'll be getting my check back because Silver Eye is their fault, not mine. And um, even if I had to pay, it's, it's worth it at this point. So, until you guys see her. And she looks all pretty. Guys, so I just finished filming an 80s Barbie collection video. And as I was in the middle of it, my mail lady showed up and she brought a package from American Girl. No, I did not buy more. Actually, this is Kirsten. She is back from the doll hospital. And it took a while. It took a little over a month. Um, they didn't even start, like, they didn't even admit her until like a day before it had been a month so um that was this past friday so now it is wednesday and she is home and i'm gonna open her up for you guys i would do it outside because it's sunny and i filmed my before part um outside before but it's like kind of covered in pollen out there and i'd rather just open her in here because i'm hungry and i want to eat lunch soon so i hope you guys don't mind so i already opened up the tape they did not charge me as I knew they wouldn't and also um, because they, they email you now if you leave an email and in the email when she was admitted they said that they weren't charging us that's cool oh and they even sent Grace's box back I don't need this <laughs> thank you American girl so I'm going to make um, a whole video on like my hospital experience if you guys want to like know more about what I think about the doll hospital and all that. And I also sent Addie a long time ago, so I'll probably make one there. So I'm excited. You're home! Oh, I'm so happy. I've been missing you like a crazy person. Oh, and she's got new eyelashes, so I'm going to show it to you guys. So pretty. Okay. So. So I got a letter. Um, so, we're happy to let you know that your doll has been given a clean bill of health to the American Girl Doll Hospital by the American Girl Hospital. After examining her, we feel that we are responsible for her repairs, so we have repaired her free of charge. If you paid with the credit card, it has not been charged. If you paid by check, it is being returned to you. If you have paid at an American Girl store or with a gift card, you will receive a refund check by the mail. Thank you for this opportunity to serve you. We hope the girl in your life will enjoy many delightful play, uh, hours of delightful play with her doll. And they sent it back. So that is really nice. That must be her certificate. So, Kirsten Larson by Dr. Willow. I'm gonna have pictures of all this on my Flickr. So. Okay. I have not looked at her eyes yet. I'm so glad she's home. Okay. Oh, and this is her little get well card. Get well soon. Oh. 
They didn't even redo her hair. <laughs> That's hilarious. They just put bows on it because her hair already looked so nice. I know because um, I used rainbow loom bands on her hair and they're still in there. Oh, you look so good, Kirsten. Say hello to all the people. Oh. Do they even wash you? <laughs> Probably not. She was already pretty clean. I don't see any um, baking soda in her crevices, so. She's so pretty, I'm so happy. And guess what? You have a Christmas outfit waiting for you. We had Christmas in May. I'm so excited. And I'll definitely post some before and after pictures, so. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so excited. Like, it was starting to hurt that she was gone. It really was, so. We're so happy you're back. And Colleen will be so excited when she gets home. Yay! Well, until next time, thank you.